Hi everyone, welcome back to Rich's Garage. This is going to be episode 3 of uh, the switching layout that I'm building. I had a, I know it's been a while, I had my hard drive crash, I guess I'll be around September of last year. Uh, fortunately, I really didn't lose too much information. I had about 85% of it backed up, but uh, I hadn't made a clone of the hard drive like I should have, so I lost the operating system and had to get that all, rebuild all that stuff. So. Uh, I realize it's been like seven months, I guess, since I made any video, and about ten months since I made a video on this layout. I really didn't do too much work on it until, uh, I guess, after my uh, my hard drive locked up, and I was working on it late winter, uh, or late last year. So uh, I think I'll show you a little bit of what what I've gotten done. The last video was right before I glued the top the, the um, hardboard and cork to the foam. Right now the camera is sitting on that corner that was curled up so it's been you know, probably six months since this has been glued down and it's, it's been very stable and uh, it's flat so that's all good. Uh, so let me show you what where we're at. I'm using the fast track system. This is what we're looking at as far as the track plan for up here. So you see the double crossover single crossover, uh, the two switches and the diamond, that's what I have built so far. I have the switches for the, uh, these two switches built but not the crossing and that's what's just laying loose here, they're not really tied in. Uh, but um, everything's gone together uh, nicely. Um, the one thing of note, just to, you know, if you're ever getting in, think about getting into the fast track system, the switch ties are slightly shorter than, I should say, not as tall as opposed to short, as the um, track ties that you can buy. So these are the track ties that are already pre-gapped, um, and they're, that's their thickness. Now if I hold up, just give me a second here to get this as close as possible. I'm probably not holding this that's so great, but the ties that go into the template for building the switches are a little bit uh, sh shorter in height. And part of that is because the wood ties match these other pre-gap ties. We can a little peek at that, that's basically what I'm talking about. And uh, so what I did was I didn't put any of the ties down because part of this I want to be paved surface. So I haven't quite figured out where I'm going to do that. Um, so for now I just kind of roughed this in. The next step that I'm going to do is on my test piece that you remember me doing. I went ahead and um, I was just scrolling through on Home Depot just trying to see paint colors. And this is a bare paint called Doe Skin. It's a gray, but it has a little bit of a slight brownish, even my wife thinks it's a little pinkish shade to it. So I'm going to use that as the base color. Like I said, I painted some of the foam to see how that would color. Um, so I have to take everything off of this, paint the base, lay the track back down, and I can start doing a little bit of wiring. Uh, one other thing I'm to show you, I'm just going to take a closer look at the switches themselves. So that came out. I'm using this bent wire technique that Tim shows for his fast track system as far as being able to have it as a throw bar and not have to uh, buy like the Caboose Industries throws or um, put a machine underneath. So the way that works, and I have to glue this down still, but you just click that over, and there you go. And that's that. On this crossing, here's a look at the crossing template. I wanted this distance to be shorter, so this rail here is actually the rail off the switch that I had to splice together, uh, but it came out nice. This is a loose switch, so if you see how long the divergent route is, I just used that long rail to 
come in here. Uh, everything goes through smoothly. Oh, I have to throw the switch. That's what happens when you don't throw the switch. But uh, everything's good. So I'm pretty happy. I'm really, you know. The fast track system is really well thought out. You see how smooth that is. Um, so that's where I'm at with this. I still have you know, my other modeling projects that I've done a little bit of work on. That hopefully in a couple, uh, you know, in the coming days or weeks, I'll post a couple updates on those things. But um, that's where we are right now. Um, I want to say hello to the new subscribers. Even though I hadn't put any videos up, I was a new subscriber. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy so far what you're seeing. And um, I said, I'm hoping in, uh, to progress on this and then be able to power it up and have something that's just running here back and forth a little bit. Uh, and then now the weather's getting warmer, I can weld up the other frame for the other part of this L and then continue on. So that's the update for now. We'll talk to you soon.